vault. Are you gonna get your, your toothpicks? Y- yes, one day. <laughs> one day. What do you mean one day? Do not shame me. <laughs> is that was that your was that your veneer or is that your actual tooth? It's not a veneer, but it is a full on like crown. Your crown. Yeah, this is my yeah. Grandma, this tooth has been gone since I know I was in tenth grade. It's like a right. little tic tac. Yeah, but I thought I, I don't know if you if you chipped your because this one is real. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, that's my real tooth. That's the right. Oh, fake one. Oh, Chippy McGee. But I can't even just make fun of my tooth. I, don't, I asked you a question. Are you going to get that? <laughs> I said, when are you getting your tooth fixed? You said, are you going to get your tooth fixed or not? Uh, That's what you said. Well, I'm feeling very sensitive to my tooth. Are you really? Yes. I have a chipped tooth. Okay, let's wait. Put, I put this on eyes because I kind of because I don't believe you. You don't believe that I'm sensitive about my tooth? You don't believe there's a chance that I could be feeling sensitive about having a chipped tooth. <laughs> that is crazy. I am. My tooth is chipped. I have a lot of past trauma being made fun of for having a chipped tooth. I think we started recording. Well, then talk to me about my chipped tooth. You want to talk about it? Okay. So what happened? What ha- recording? For those of you who, who are just tuning in. Everyone. Okay, the podcast <laughs> just started. I just said to Bob, I said, are you going to get your tooth fixed? And he said... <laughs> when they don't make fun of my tooth, I'm just asking the question. And then day. I said, and I said, well, I'm feeling very sensitive of my tooth. And I said, and then are you I, go, really? I don't believe you. No, and I said, no, yes, you did. I said, I said, I said, I said, are you really? And he said, yes. And I'm then just, you said, I don't believe yeah, you. Okay, but that's not what I first said. Oh, you got me. Because also, we all know when someone goes, yeah, I am. I didn't. Do I said, yes, I am. No, you said yes. Well, I am feeling. Well, also, everyone knows my voice goes up in this. This is how I talk. I've, I've been known to be like, yeah, girl. It's, it's how I talk. I have a lot of trauma around having a chipped tooth and being teased about having a chipped tooth. I had a chipped tooth for a big part of my life from third grade until 10th grade, which is a pretty rough time to have half of your front tooth gone. Well, I just think now because the new year has started and you will get busier. Now, I think would be the best time to get it done as opposed to when you're busy on the road traveling and you can't find time to do it. Now you have a you you have time. You're sitting around in L.A. You can take care of it now as opposed to waiting later when you can't. That doesn't that that, that, that what, the conversation you're having about when I should fix my tooth. Is I just not would, discussing about me saying I am sensitive about my. OK, tooth. well, wait, what my original question was. Are you, you going to fix it? And I, you said yes. And 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 as you being a busy person, I would think that you would prioritize doing it now as opposed I, to when you don't. I have will it. be able to get my tooth fixed in a time that works for for me. And right now, it doesn't work for you. In this moment, no. I'll be gone. I have to go to Atlanta in like two days. You you can literally, Bob. By the time this when this happened before, but Christmas, I can't fly. To, I have things to do between now and going to Atlanta. I'm going to Atlanta on the fourth. Today's the second. I have something to do tomorrow. I've been in Atlanta from the fourth until this time. I come back. I have gigs, so it, I can't just. But after you came back from Mexico, you had time to do it. But there was, it was. I had stuff to do then. First of all, why are you worried about when I'm fixing my tooth? I'm telling you, I'm sensitive about my tooth, and okay. you are ignoring that I am sensitive <laughs> about my tooth. So instead of you being like, "Oh wow, maybe you should be like, you know what? Maybe Bob is sensitive about the tooth." Instead of like pressuring and being like, "Fix it now. Why is your tooth not?" Because fixed? I'm thinking about the future. I am a I am a problem solver, and I know your feelings are yours. They're valid, but I'm thinking about you prolonging the experience of your insecurity by not just taking care of everyone immediately as opposed to next month, two months later. That's not valid. That is valid. Your concern for my tooth is not that as valid, is valid as my feelings for my tooth. No, I mean, okay, but let, you you can't tell me how what how valid my feelings are, bitch. That's my feelings about, about your tooth. In, in concern for me and my experience and that's my tooth, my, my feelings are a lot more valid. Well, about uh, your experiences and your tooth, how they affect me, I want to help you take care of it now because in you the long are, term, you because, are on the, the wrong side of no, this. No, because on the long term, I have to I have to think about you being insecure about your tooth. You are on the wrong not. side of this. I am not. If I was telling you to fix things on your body. And I'm like, you need to fix it because I'm thinking about you in the future. And I'm trying to tell you to fix things in your body that you're insecure about, yes. even though you have a long history. So actually, what I'm saying is valid. And I'm telling you how to fix your body because <laughs> I'm thinking about your body. I have plans for your body. So do your body in the way that I want you to do your body. <laughs> That's not- yes, it is. this is my body. This tooth is in my face. And I know it's bothering you. So I'm thinking, hey, so as, as a friend, I'm saying, hey, you should take care of it now so you don't have to prolong the hurt and the agony that this tooth is causing you. And what I am telling you is... Can you in, not hit the table? In terms of people's bodies, uh-huh. if they're like, I am insecure about this, I feel badly about this thing, and you're like, yeah, you need to fix it sooner than later. That For me, 
Maybe you okay, and your for friends. For you, your truth. Maybe for you and your friends. This is, this is this this is back to your truth. Maybe for you and your other friends, you all pick each other's bodies apart, and you're very comfortable telling each other what they should do with their bodies, when they should fix it, in what time they should fix it. But for me, I'm going to fix this tooth when it works for me, and I'm insecure about it because I've had a chipped tooth for a long time in my life, and it's the it's like the first thing you see on my face when I open my mouth, and my tooth is chipped. So I'm sensitive Please about stop it. The table. And I don't think and I don't think there is any acknowledgement that what I'm saying is valid or that I I did. I literally said I, I said your feelings about your tooth are valid. I that's literally what the first things I said. So you're glazing over that because you want to prioritize the hurt and pain that you're feeling. Yeah, I do want to prioritize. I'm 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 taking I've learned this thing when you when you're having a moment with someone, you have to prioritize your own pain, your own self, protect yourself, because you can't rely on someone else to do that for you. So uh-huh. what I'm telling you is I am very sensitive about my tooth and I would like to care for this tooth in my own way. Without pressure, and this is, um, and I can't talk about operating their life, but this is a way that I operate, and this is a um, courtesy I would appreciate to have um, people, you know, who are close to my life talk to me about my body in a way that doesn't feel bad. Well, you know, as a, someone who's been friends with you for a long time, I know that you don't prioritize taking care of yourself. So I'm trying to help you. You don't prioritize taking care of yourself. You help you help other people before yourself. Is that That's, not true? No. I feel that way about you. For I example, you help me at a detriment to you when I when I need to help from myself's kitchen. You have stuff you need to do for your own for your own shit. I but you're helping me. I still did myself. Yeah, but you but you but you put my stuff first to help me first with the pageant, which no. is fair. Yes, you did. I mean, I that was not my experience. I mean, I, it it was. You fully had. You had I'm like telling five. You my experience. Okay, okay, okay but I'm telling you what you said to me back back in that time. Like the morning, I really don't have time to do this. You're like, all right, come over. I can. I, I think I can do this before my thing. That, that was that. That was the whole experience of coming in on my on my that. white Miss kitchen gown. Absolutely was. Yeah. Your 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 sewing machine was even broken. You're like, morning. I can't even make this stuff for BB because you're still making stuff for BB at that time. Like I don't have time to make stuff for BB because your your sewing machine broke. So I drove to New Jersey because this, the target family was out of sewing machines. Yeah. I drove to New Jersey to buy you a sewing machine so you could make your BB stuff and my gown. That is that is that is what happened. That is sure. absolutely what happened. Pull stop. Period. So I know it's a pattern in your life that you sometimes don't take care of yourself before. Why are you looking at me like that? All because smug. You're, that is that is what I've noticed in your life, Jacob. Would you would, would you agree that sometimes Bob takes care of other people before himself? Uh, not not on principle. Like um, not what do you mean? I'm not on principle. Time. Like yeah, not not all the time. But I feel like there are many is, situations. Is, is that a pattern that you know that I prioritize other people? I didn't say it's a pattern. I said not. You say, literally I, just said I, I the pattern. No, I said that you often do. You just said pattern, but I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you redact it and replace it with often. So what does often mean? Often mean like a lot. Um, more times than not, I would say I prioritize other people's well-being over my own okay when, when when i say well-being i'm not saying that you're like like you're shot and you're 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 making sure this person goes to the hospital before you get the bullet out of your chest i'm not saying stuff like that but like helping someone i don't know stream a thing online you're like oh girl i don't have time like pep uh, come over and uh, or uh, face me right now I, I, I can do it right now this moment like stuff like well, that well if i have time to help someone and i want right. and i want to help them sometimes helping people there is a part of helping people that feels good to you as well. So sometimes if we I help, agree on that. Sometimes if I help someone, it's not that it's a detriment to me. It's like but you oh, don't have time like to do, do your own shit, so you're helping someone else do it. That is that is at a detriment to you. If you are helping someone do something when you have your own or your own stuff to do, that well, is at a all, detriment to you. Everyone has stuff to do, right? Okay, so wow, people we're, always have things. to okay, do. Okay, so I'm saying I, I, no one is arguing. I'm saying what that that is something that you do. So I'm trying I, to help you. I don't think I that, feel that it. It sounds. Like, let me let me try to get this clear. You're saying that if you help other people. And you have other things to do as well. If you are helping them before you do your own thing, that is a detriment to you. Yes, because you are not prioritizing things that you need to do. And I'm going to argue that that's not the case, in my opinion, because people always have things to do. Like, but I, important I, things. I never you have important things to do that well, you're not I, doing. I think that everyone has important things. Not to do. always. You don't always. Every example. Every time I have helped someone, I don't have important things that I am putting on the back burner to help that person all the time. Well, important sometimes is, is that the case. Well, important yes. is a subjective word, right? Well, I know for you, it's something that you express that that is, that, is, that is important to you that you should be getting done that you're not doing. I, I so you're saying so you're I saying not, I don't so you're identify saying, with so this. So you said um, you've never done this. I didn't. I did not say that. Okay. So what are you saying? So do you? Do I you, do not make a habit. I do not more often than not. It is not a character of mine. It is I not something is. that people would say that I hurt myself or give or hurt and detriment or, are not the same thing. It's essentially the same thing. I'm. I'm. They're I'm, not synonyms. Essentially. Oh, essentially. No. You. You get to throw in. You. You get to throw in a weasel. Like essentially. Like. 
the gun is thrown essentially well i think someone says you did this and it hurt you or you did this and it was a detriment to you people would be like oh that's that's pretty much the same thing it's the, but pretty much and it are the same thing or not i think in, in, this in, case, in, in, in the dictionary work. you can't you can't you can't um hurt and detriment are not are, are not synonyms in, in in the dictionary i think in this case the words work together okay but that's not but that's not how I, you, you don't get to make your own definitions okay but you don't get to make your own definition either go ahead jacob That sounds very, that sounds like the word hurt. Anyway, <laughs> so I'll just go off and say that was literally what I just said, but go off, Monet. Um, and I don't think that uh, that giving till it hurts is a part of my character. I don't identify with that. Um, I give people stuff, but I also really like it. it. It's not hurting me. There are often times where I have a lot of important things to do in my life. Okay, so but I all, but, 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 go ahead. Skip it about, but I don't do those things, then not have time to do my own. I'm not Asia O'Hara in the fucking end of the world ball. I still do my things. I have time. I I I, pray, I um budget time so mm -hmm. I can do my things as well. But you're saying I never said you don't do that. I just say that I have noticed. And and, I, I, and I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that I have noticed you. Character means that I. I'm saying that I have noticed you do that. So I'm just trying to say that to you right now in this situation. Hey, do you think you should do it now? As opposed to when you don't have time but to But I do also, it. I don't identify with being like, I, I don't. I you don't, can do things and not be a character, a characteristic you. said of you. I do it more often than not. Yes. I don't. That's not true. I don't identify that's with that. That's my experience of me seeing you. Maybe that's not how you, that, maybe that's not how it comes up to yourself. But me interacting with you for the past 10 years, I feel like that's what I have known. So when I asked you to explain it, the only example you gave was this Hell's Kitchen gown, which was legitimately eight years ago. Okay, but that's, so that's when, when, when else did I do it? Okay. So more often than not. More. Meaning it happens all the time. If it's more often than over 50% of the time, when mm -hmm. else have I do this? Okay, for example, when we have when we have makeup stuff to do and you're prioritizing other things for like your black queer town hall thing that are and we have pressing things for makeup stuff to do, I think that you prioritizing black yes, black queer town hall is big, it's another big part of your That's life. Not other people's stuff. It is other people. I mean, that's well, my stuff. I am it the. Is, it, 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 I it am is, the president of an. I am the president of a nonprofit organization. And you're fifty percent the president of makeup stuff. But I'm saying and that's important but too. Do you see what you're saying is I doing things for other people. That's not prioritizing other people's stuff over my. Stuff. I will say, Blackwood Town Hall services more people. Y'all are servicing a lot of black queer people. So in that regard, I think that is servicing more people than your makeup thing with you and me. Well, I I am the president of a nonprofit, and it is literally my job. It's your job to make up a thing too. I know, and I and I, but the, I, but I think the based off the the under, the you're trying to say is like I am prioritizing other people's stuff, and what you're saying is because Black Queer Town Hall benefits other people, even though it's my job, that is somehow prioritizing other people over myself because it's my job more, because it's but it services more people like what you what, what, what was the statistic you gave the y'all help hundreds of whatever black queer people yeah a lot of people yeah, lot right of people. so that's servicing more people in black Town hall than you are servicing with your makeup industry or makeup line makeup but product whatever but, it's, but i mean we, that's, we have you're helping and you're servicing well, we, more haven't, we haven't launched yet who knows how many people will who knows how many people will, will help well and makeup? right now in, in, in this present moment is not it's only servicing you and i it's not serving seeing anyone else this is true but uh, and i don't I, think that um supports the argument that you're saying that i help other people more than i help myself i think it does it's my it's literally my job i'm paid to do it, i think it does but again but you're still helping and servicing a lot of people with with your job and the makeup can help and service people too but it's not currently it's only helping you and me and galeo i mean i think this is a uh what's the word what's the word when you um i don't know if this is i don't know if this is quite a straw man straw man straw man is it's like a, a tactic in arguing and debate when you say something that is like not particularly sensical, but if you look at it from really far away and don't zone in, it could make sense, but it doesn't make sense. I never heard the term straw man, so I don't know what that means. Like, how would what is straw man? Uh, Just Google it. Don't don't do your own thing. Just Google the the real the the hundred percent thing, so we can like get the official definition <laughs> of straw man. But it's like when you like try to you try to like create a, a thing and you like get someone going off on a whole different thing and they are so far away from the original concept of what they're discussing that they that they are which they, is every single everything we start one place and we we go to the next galaxy yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, much every time so civil rivalry is straw man yeah sure but the, i think it's kind of like a straw man where it's like this the, the, it's it's so far from what the original thing was that it's hard to um to make it make sense. What is what is what is the straw man difference? A typical straw man argument creates the illusion of um, 
of completely refuting or defeating an opponent's proposition through the covert replacement of it with a different proposition, yeah. i.e. stand up a straw man, and the subsequent refutation of that false argument. So yeah. this is literally the, this, this straw man is literally defining civil rivalry. Sure. But in the context of this conversation, I was like, that, that, that was, I, I think I pretty much know that definition. It is like when you, when you create this narrative that is similar to the thing, but it's not quite the thing. And it is in a way to negate my uh, point and then make it seem like it's different. But back to the original uh, mm -hmm. point, I think that it is good form to follow people's lead when it comes to talking about their bodies. Yeah, I would agree. And I think that if someone's like, I'm actually really sensitive about this thing. It might make sense to be like, you know what? But also, this is just this is just how I would do it. You don't have to do it. I would be like, all right, you know, I hear you. And if you don't want me to press it, then I won't press it. Instead of being like, I have five more suggestions for how you should fix the thing that you told me you're very I would say about. yes, sure. But I also think that when you have a friendship like you and I do, or when you have really close friends or your partner or whatever, I think that it's a little so, so in my in my experience with my friends and mm -hmm. how we have behaved and other friends I behave. So be like, but girl, you're sure about the thing? Because I think that when sure, if you're talking to fucking Kelly who lives around down the block from me or across the street from you, mm -hmm. but like you're like, oh girl, you're or y'all, whatever the, the situation is. Sure, that's a thing you follow there. But with friends, best friends, close friends, I think that is okay to be like, girl, you sure? And if they really press and be like, no, I really, I'm like, okay, I got you. In and my experience. We'll talk about this when we come back. All right, we're, we're back. And I did say, like, several times, then when I told you I was sensitive, you you literally said, I don't believe you. Yeah. Because I did, again, I didn't know if you were doing, a, if you were doing a thing. I am, only I am. Again, if we keep on talking about it, we're talking about it on in front of how many listeners and people, whatever. Mm -hmm. This is typical form that we have done. With the cameras weren't here, we would say something like, Monet, no, the not. cameras weren't hold, on hold before. The, exactly. Okay. And, I, and I said, hold on, let's talk about it on the podcast. Mm -hmm. And you were like, like, Monet, really? And then we will do that for a second. I'd be like, no, Bob, I really am. You'd be like, okay, girl. So this would this this is a typical way that we would that we you and I would handle but something the like this. Is when I said I really am, you didn't go, okay. But I can't, you went, well, I'm gonna keep pressuring it and you should get your tooth. Because fixed. this is how we normally Bob, this is how we normally behave. If cameras weren't on, we would be in your house, you'd be chasing around the room, I'll be the, like Bob for real. That is how we behave. I know, but the diff the difference is when I what I what I something you point out that I think is true. Whenever I was like, if if you say something you're like, I know I really am sensitive, then I'll then I'll be like, okay. But you never, we never got to okay. We didn't get there yet because we were, because then we, we then went to the whole definition of straw man and, 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 which I nailed and situations about that, whatever. <laughs> if we weren't, if the cameras are not on, this would have been like a 15 minute thing that you and I would have done. We, right or wrong? I mean, it depends. More often than not, yes, it would be. So that, but the cameras are on. We've been talking about it for five minutes. That's, this is a different scenario. It was 15 minutes. Our first break. And also, if minutes. you were really sensitive about it, you'd be like, I don't want to talk about it on camera. We would, we would, hold on. Hold on. I don't think that's true. That's hold true on. If you, but if, if you're really sensitive about it, it's something that really hurts your feelings or, or, or you felt like I wasn't, uh, 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 seeing you where you're at and, and, and your feelings and, and seeing that you are really sad and vulnerable about it. Oh, no, I'm, not, I'm throwing in sad. Or you are really sensitive about it. I would have been like, girl, I really don't. I'm like, okay, work. And it, for example, that's me. not true. For, for me. example, for, what do you mean? I, I, there have been, I, I, I don't think that if my feelings were, if I was really, which I was sensitive about it, or if my feelings mm -hmm. were hurt, I wouldn't be like, I don't want to talk about this on camera. That's not part. I think it's because of, being on multiple reality TV shows, feeling very, very sensitive on camera, mm -hmm. fully crying. I mean, boo-hooing with strangers on camera. I think that uh, um, showing my sensitivity to people is a big part of what makes our podcast so special. So I wouldn't have been like, I don't want to talk about this on camera. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm comfortable talking about things that I am uncomfortable with or, oh, or feeling sensitive about. So I wouldn't have been like, I don't want to talk about this on camera. I would have been like, we can talk about it. Right, but then again, but but then you can't get mad if we're having this. This to, I'm not mad. You can't. Do I look mad? You can't be up in your feelings. When, 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 do I look? You mad? can't be up in your feelings when we're having a dialogue that we would normally have. If the cameras were on, this exactly this conversation conversation would have had. We'd have went on. You'd be like, "Well, they are really answers about." It. I'm like, "All right, girl, sorry," and then we would have moved on. That's exactly what would have happened. First of all, I can on. I can be in my feelings at any point I want. 
Oh God, here we go. And I don't think that I genuinely don't think I'm re reacting in any different way. I think you are. And what's the, what, what do you think would, would happen before? If the cameras are not on, I would have said what I said. You'd be like, like Monet. You'd be like, Monet, you gonna tell me my tooth? I'm like, yeah, I think you should do that. I'm like, Monet, I really don't have time to do it. And I don't want to get it out. I'm really sensitive about it. I'm like, girl, no, you're not. You'd be like, Monet, yes, I am. I'm really sensitive about it. I'm like, really? Are you really? Monet, yes, I am. I'm like, all right, then we would have moved on. That's exactly how the conversation would have went. That's Jacob, how does that sound to you? Does it not sound accurate to you? I'm like, Monet, yes, I Let am. Let him answer. Fair. That's because you're wrong. He doesn't that want is, to that's not, No, I was saying, no, Jacob and I have had a lot of conversations in life about things like this, and I. I do not think that I put on or change who I no am. No said you're putting on. Or I don't think I've changed the way I'm talking to you. I don't think I've changed. What I'm saying is I don't think the way that you responded to me telling you that I am sensitive uh -huh. about having a chipped tooth, it doesn't feel good. And I told you that. Right. And then the camera's turned on. And then I told you again. Uh -huh. And then we talk about more things. And I told you again. Right. But I've been consistently telling you for almost 17 minutes now that I am sensitive about and having a chip And my point tooth. is that the way that you're reacting on camera, what, how I just laid it out was exactly what would have happened and we would have moved on you with You don't. That's conjecture. But, Bob, that, that is conjecture from how I have reacted, to how we have dialogued for the past 10 years. So what do you think happened? Do you think that... The, the way that this played out was different because of something I was doing. That the way that how we played the out? The way it played out with the cameras, it was different than it would have been off camera because of something I was doing? I don't I'm know, asking. I, I, I don't know. I feel like... What was your part in it? My part, I, my my part in what? In making you feel bad? No, no, no you did First of all, I did not say... Oh, God, I'm not a wish. Go continue, continue. What I said was, well, what was your part in this playing out differently on camera? What was your part in that? I don't know what my part in it. I but feel you know like, what my part was. I feel like I feel like I feel like I I, I can only know I, I can only say what I'm seeing. I feel like I reacted or I spoke how I normally would in any conversation. And then have. I did something different. I feel like maybe it. I feel like maybe you are a little more sensitive about your tooth than I thought, which I told you. Uh, yeah, but again, how I how it would normally play out. I I said y'all can rewind and listen to it again. It would have been a thing. Well, you you do the thing, Monet. Yes, I really am. I'm like Bob. No, you're not. Like Monet. I'm telling you, I feel bad about my tooth. I'm like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, Monet. I'm serious. I'm, I'm like, okay, work, and then we'll move on. That's how it would have normally went. In my in my so what I'm with hear, you. what I'm hearing is you feel like this played out differently, and I'm just asking because of something I did. Yes, not because of something you did. Yeah, and you don't see your part. In I, any of I, okay, I never said I was my part. I asked I your just part, part. You said I don't know. I guess I, I guess my part was asking you more than was asking you more than twice how you felt about your tooth. But I feel this is how I normally would have spoken to you. And I feel I, I will say the difference is I don't I'm not accusing you of behaving differently. But well, for, that's because I'm not behaving but differently. But for some odd reason, you think I'm behaving differently than i would have i don't this is literally how i talk all i'm not i don't have a on-camera voice i don't have an off-camera voice i don't i don't either. have an, I, don't, I, I don't either i don't have an on-camera vernacular i don't have i don't a, either i don't have an internet persona that i'm doing and the difference the only difference is at one point i said something which i which we wouldn't be able to say if there weren't cameras but i said what? you're not on the right side of this oh work you're you are in my opinion this is all opinion so it's not it's not a fact this mm -hmm. is not based on fact this is the in the the court of public opinion and in my opinion i think that people will be like Th that's not the take and if someone is like damn i feel bad i'm very sensitive and i've also told you even before today that i'm sensitive about this tooth yeah but when we talked about it before you laugh and you kick it and joke about it. again that is your tooth you can do whatever you want so you can laugh and kiki. So mm -hmm. and I'm bringing it to the podcast where we laugh and kiki and talk mm -hmm. about stuff all the time. Last time we talked about your tooth, you were bent over cracking up about it, about you posting it on, on posting it on on Twitter, blocking people. The person that you blocked them, lol, and thinking the thing, and had this discourse with you about doing it. So well, I did they, not, they t I didn't write them back. They wrote. So you t in my so you you were giving me the perception that you're not super bothered by your tooth by how you're talking about it and how you're still posting about it online. So I don't. So I didn't. So this so this wave of I'm really insecure. Well, I'm really down in the dumps about it. I only about it once. I'm really down in the dumps about it, and but I didn't say I was down or, in the dumps. Or okay, I okay, said or you're I'm sensitive. sensitive about which has been my from the beginning. I've said I am sensitive about this fr from the moment I mm -hmm. chipped my tooth, from the moment I told you I blocked someone online, from the moment you I was blocked like, who? I mean, I turned off the comments. Right from the from the moment I chipped this tooth, I've told you because of my past and having a chipped tooth for so long. 
I am sensitive about my tooth. It is that has never changed. It has never changed. But again, last time we spoke about this in the podcast, you laughed and you kiki. So I thought, again, yes, you're sensitive, but I didn't think that it was something that would make you hypersensitive about talking about about fixing it on the podcast. I'm not high. I'm not hypersensitive. It seems like you are a little to me. But again, that's okay. This is my perception. But this, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is what this is what I'm getting from you. I what I'm getting is that I feel like maybe you're more sensitive, or you are more sensitive than you're willing to admit. About your tooth because of how I've already told you I'm very oh, sensitive about because it. of how we talked about it in the podcast and we were laughing and joking about it. So I didn't think that you it would have been it would make you so upset. I'm this, not upset. Or it'll make I've you never so- said I wasn't. I've never even pretended that I wasn't sensitive about it. I have never at any point in time insinuated that I am not sensitive. All I have ever done from the get go is say out loud uh-huh. i am sensitive do you see about how, my chip too do you see how i could feel that you that that it is okay to talk about it and laugh about it because of how we discussed on the podcast before do you do you see that is my question i can see how you would draw that conclusion mm-hmm. but i don't see how you can come to the conclusion that i am uh somehow uh in a different place than i've been when i've told you the entire time i am very sensitive about this chipped tooth because of my past with having a chipped tooth. But I don't think you're in a different place. The last place we were in this podcast on, on your tooth, we were laughing and joking and, and, and kikiing about it. So mm-hmm. I thought you were still in that place. But maybe today you're not in that but same also the, the, kiki kaka place things too, like it. What you were saying about like fixing your tooth, you weren't laughing. You weren't joking. You were being like, you don't prioritize yourself. You need to get your tooth fixed. You have to do it now. I did not say you, you need. Okay, you should. I, okay, hold on. I did not say that you that that you need to do it now. Okay, I was just thinking about how busy you are. I'm like, oh, maybe. So, hold so on. Did that hold feel on, like laughing and kicking to you? Oh, oh, but again, Bob, I think this is how we talk about things on the podcast all the time. This is how we. I was like, girl, are you gonna fix your tooth? And you're gonna be like, and that this is a this is typical for the podcast. This is not outside the realm of how we talk discuss i don't think that what you said was out of any realm i don't think it was out of the normal i think that this don't be- see why it's, why it's I actually surprising think this to be- you i didn't i never even said it was surprising i think this behavior is very typical for you i don't i i have never used all the only thing i've said consistently which is true is that i'm sensitive to my tooth and that um i will fix it when i have time that's what I haven't I haven't I haven't said you're acting why I haven't accused you of acting differently. I didn't say I'm surprised. I didn't say I was sad. I didn't say I was upset. I didn't say I was in my feelings. I said I'm sensitive about my tooth. OK. OK. And again, but the reason why I discuss your tooth on the podcast and do it in the way that we did. But you, I'm not saying you can't discuss my tooth. I'm just saying I'm sensitive about it. OK. That's all I'm saying. I am very sensitive about the tooth. So in your sensitivity about your tooth, how would you like us to how how do you feel about discussing your tooth on the podcast? I think it depends on what we're talking about, um, the context in which we're talking about it, how I feel that day. Did I have a lot to eat? Did I look at myself in the mirror? Did I get a comment about it online about my fucked up chip tooth? I think there's a lot of things that go into play about how I feel about my tooth. I don't so how do you ha- feel today? In this moment, mm-hmm. I, didn't, I don't have any qualms talking about my tooth, but I don't want um, shit about not having fixed it already. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to hear stuff so do you like, like. Do you feel like I was giving I, you shit about it? Yeah. What, what, what it felt like? Well, when you came back from Mexico, you had a lot of time to get it fixed. Oh, so, okay, that's how you felt. Okay. Well, that's not what. That's not what I was projecting to you. So. So. So what was? Hold that on. Then? Hold on. Hold on. When you say you felt, what was that? Like, what is the feeling that you felt? Let me fe- saying that. It felt like you had. You certainly had time when you got back from Mexico, but you didn't do it. It, it felt like there was some um, insinuation that I have misappropriated my time, or that I have somehow prioritize something else or 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 based off of the insinuation like 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 i was maybe uh putting other people's needs in front of mine and not getting my tooth fixed and uh there seemed to be some sort of a uh insinuation that that i'm mismanaging my time when you say something like well you had plenty of time when you got back from mexico to get your tooth fixed Mm -hmm. and i'm like well i had stuff to do i've always got stuff to do Mm -hmm. there's always something to do Mm -hmm. and i'm I'm thinking to myself maybe i don't want to spend my new years in a dentist chair in New York City by myself. I'm also thinking to myself, well, my dentist probably cannot fix my tooth between Christmas and New Year's because that is a very, very, like most people are off on holiday. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people who do book stuff, they book it really specifically. So I'm thinking to myself, well, between Christmas and New Year's is probably not a great time to get emergency dental work. 
Last time I got my tooth fixed, I chipped it. I fixed it the very next day, but it was like a random Thursday in October. So I don't even, I don't even remember when it was. I don't, I don't remember when it was, but it was like, it was, it was, there was no holidays around. It was just a random day. I broke, I think it was in the summer, actually. I remember breaking my tooth. I was here in LA. I flew back to New York City. My dentist and I lived in the same town. Mm -hmm. So now for me to go back to my dentist who lives in New York City or find a dentist here in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. it's just a, a, a bit more of a to do. So it felt like there was some sort of an insinuation that I am mismanaging my time because I didn't get my tooth fixed when I came back from Mexico between Christmas and New Year's. And it is now January 2nd. It is the second day of the year. Mm -hmm. So, so you're, so, so you, but I was saying, what is that feeling? You it like, feels it, it, like, did, 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 did I, do you, do you feel like I was trying to make you feel bad about yourself? I don't think, I don't think, I don't think that you have malintentions. I would mm -hmm. be really shocked if you and I were ever in a situation where you were trying to make me feel bad. Mm -hmm. But I do think that in that moment when it would have been, uh, it, I think it was insensitive. Okay. Well, I, I apologize. I apologize if I made you. What do you? Why do you look at the camera like that? For? Because it's one of those moments in my head where I. Let's, take a, Let's you, take a break. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. The Bombas mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So this year, when you gift Bombas to someone on your list, you're also giving them. So this year, when you gift Bombas to someone on your list, you're also giving them to someone in need. It's a give-give situation, girl. Bombas designed their socks, shirts, and underwear to be the clothes you can't wait to put on every day. Everything they make is soft, sashin, seamless, tagless, and has a luxuriously cozy feel. They're made from super soft materials like merino wool, pima cotton, and even cashmere, which makes them the perfect cozy winter layers. There's a pair of Bombas socks for everything that you do. They come in performance styles for every sport, holiday styles when you're feeling festive, and lots more. Bombas t-shirts are made with thoughtful design features like invisible seams, soft fabrics, and the perfect weight so they hang just right. Bombas' underwear has a barely there feel with seconds can support that might make you forget they're even there, girl. In a good way, not a naughty one. Bombas are the coziest gifts for everyone on your list. And thanks to their festive gift boxes, you don't even have to wrap them for the holiday season. All you have to do is the giving. Did y'all know that socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the three most requested clothing items at homeless shelters? And they're in that order. That's why Bombas donates one for every item you buy. Bombas are made to be the perfect gift and made to give back to those in need. So, so when you buy in, you're giving, which is lovely. Go to bombas.com slash rivalry and get 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash rivalry for 20% off. Bombas.com slash rivalry. Do you know why free trials renew without your consent? Baby, it's a business scam. They have to get you, honey. And do not let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill. Take control of your subscriptions. Truebill is a new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. And Truebill Concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to do it. Truebill can also help you track and understand your credit score. Get the best rates on your existing bills, create a budget that works for you, understand and grow your net worth, and get a pay advance when you need it. Eligibility varies. Listen, I actually love Truebill. I, I tried and I found three subscriptions I didn't need and totally forgot about. And in six seconds, honey, I saved $660 for the whole year by canceling subscriptions I didn't even need. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at truebill.com slash rivalry. Go right now. Truebill.com slash rivalry. It could save you thousands a year. Now, it ain't no secret that everything is online these days, which means it's really important to have a website that looks as fabulous as you do. And I said, making a website with Squarespace is the mother tucking tea. Squarespace, ooh, y'all heard that tea, tea. Sound like Bob. Squarespace uses incredibly intuitive design to help build your website so you can build your dream website without knowing anything about coding or computers. 
Squarespace has really great and easy to understand analytics tools to help you gain powerful insights into who's visiting your website, how they're interacting with your content, including your page views, traffic sources, time on your website, most read content, audience geographics, girl, everything. They also take care of buying and managing your domain name and make linking it to your website super easy. Buying a domain from Squarespace is simple because there are no hidden fees or price hikes. Each domain comes with an ad-free parking page and free who is privacy on eligible domains. Squarespace also has great SEO tools and takes the guesswork out of search engine optimization for your website, which means you'll get found on the Googles and on the Yahoo. Where do people use Yahoo? Anyway, you'll, find, you'll be found more often on search engines. And for me, it has been really helpful for selling my merchandise because there's a lot of Monet exchange uh, boo boo fool knockoffs and I'm always confident that with my merch it's a, it is at the top of the list because I'll be using the Squarespace Squarespace has the tools you need to get your business off the ground including e-commerce templates inventory management a simple checkout process and secure payments whatever you selling Squarespace has merchandise features to make sure that people will be buying oh, Go on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash rivalry to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I'm telling you, you, you're telling me like how I made you feel. I did not say that. Well, what, uh, that's, okay, Bob, if you felt insensitive by what I said, that means that what I said made you feel that way. I don't agree with that, but I do. That's all right. That's but this all right is my that is. feelings, though. I, you can't tell me how but I'm But you operating. said that I made you feel insensitive. I, I didn't say that. Okay, so how, okay, I so said it was how did you feel? I felt when you um, insinuated that I mismanaged manage my time uh-huh. by not getting my tooth fixed between Christmas and New Year's, uh-huh. um, it felt um, accusatory. It felt like um, a, an insinuation that I was um, in some way being either irresponsible or prioritizing other people's needs over my own. What is the emotion that comes with that? Because that, it, it, for me saying that, it obviously made you feel something. I. I don't I, think it made me feel anything. So, so how I think we, I felt? I feel things. That okay, I don't, so how did you feel? Um, I guess the short answer is I. My immediate response was to feel defensive mm-hmm. and to stand up for myself because. But it, isn't like a, an emotional feeling that came with that. I think defensive is an emotion. Okay. Like, what kind of emotion are you? What, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think I was I was feeling defensive. I felt like um I needed to um. It wasn't like sad or anything. It wasn't. I'm not angry or uh, it wasn't mm-hmm. like rage. Uh-huh. It was just like I need to defend myself right now. Well, I apologize if you felt defensive for me. That's to... not an apology, in my opinion. I, I apologize I, for I making apologize. you. Feel the... You said I, I apologize. Didn't... Okay, see, you're you... adding hands. You're what, adding. This what you said was I apologize if you felt defensive. Okay, I apologize that you felt defensive by what I said. How's that? Um, you ever hear an apology <laughs> and like what you want me to tell you? Or not? God, I'm listening. You ever feel a certain way in like someone apologizes you're like i'm i'm not i'm not there okay well that's fair and you can get there in your own time i can't but i'm also i'm also not i'm not i'm not i'm not like mad at you i just i I didn't say you were mad you you didn't say you were mad you said you said said that you said that you're defensive you're feeling defensive so i apologize if what i said made you feel defensive and then when i then when i was asking you you if you if you saw your part in it you were like I because I don't and that's my but that's all. That's, and it's so weird to me that all you see is my all you can see is like you, you can't pro, you don't seem to have the ability in this moment to process your responsibility. And by the way, I literally it's what makes it really wild to me that you sat down, mm-hmm. started talking about my tooth, my management of my time, mm-hmm. and then you're like you are acting funny, mm-hmm. and then and you're like and you were saying out loud I can't see. My part in this. Because All I did was came in here and start talking about your tooth and why you haven't gotten it fixed yet. And I literally cannot see my part in this. Because what I'm saying is that I don't feel like I've behaved or operated any ways outside of how I normally interact with you. So in terms of I can see that me talking about your tooth made you feel defensive and it made you feel some type of way. So that's what I'm saying. I'm apologizing for what I have done that made you feel defensive about your tooth, which I which I guess was bringing up your tooth. Maybe I should not have brought up your tooth at all. I should have just just not. Well, I didn't, it up. I didn't take care of it, but it's also um there. The, but there's also the layered uh like you insinuating that my behavior is strange or I'm doing something weird and you're just acting how you always act. But I'm doing something funny. I well, again, did I, you did you insinuate that or not? I am. I, 
I guess I can see how you how, how, how that gets insinuated for you. But from again, it's not necessarily you said out loud. I'm I'm if we weren't on camera, I would have done something different. And I'm like, that's not true. Well, that's how I feel. Jacob. Like you and I have had full arguments off camera that had nothing to do with the camera that lasted way longer than this, and were more intense than this. And I wasn't just like, girl. I'm like, when I mean the whole fucking pride of your downfall. It wasn't just like, girl, are you really? Ooh. <laughs> Oh, hand girl lip. That was over a phone call. So I don't think that this like idea that typically speaking, whenever I'm just like not feeling, I just go, oh, Monet. If I'm feeling how I'm feeling, and then I say it, and then sometimes it, it turns into a thing. I I I genuinely don't even think this is an argument. I it's not. I don't. I don't think it's an argument. You but, said you said something I said made you feel defensive, and it made I didn't you say it made me feel defensive. Or something I said, you, you felt defensive from something by something I said. That sounds accurate. So don't roll your eyes at me again, ever in your life. Oh my God! As, get long, you as my long as face. you live. Anyway, you so so you're saying oh, I said you feel defensive, and I'm literally I've apologized three times at this point camera, so mean. I don't know what else to do. I, to I'm also not asking for an apology. I never asked for an apology. <laughs> I never asked you to apologize. Okay, you know that I take it back. Well, I mean, Great. then I mean, if if you're if, if you take it back, that easy, it was never an yeah. apology in the first. I guess place. it wasn't. Well, was it or was it, it not? Was it? Well, there it is. I think that the one about conflict resolution was a well-received episode. And I think people were like, this actually was a really interesting... It, 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 people were like, they need a break, that whole thing. Um, but I don't think that it was like, people were like, this episode is too much. I don't like how this is going. Did you experience that? I mean, listening to it, I did feel like it went on too long. Was that, but... You didn't answer the question I was asked, though. Did what? Did I feel like people felt that way about yeah, it? Yeah, like we got negative feedback think, about that episode. I think we got, it was a mixed bag. We got a lot of some people were like, I can't with this. I they, 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 they Literally, in, inside of people to be like, they need a break. I can't take this anymore. So well, I feel so felt that way. If people don't like arguing, I say this all the time. If you do not like people who are disagreeing, don't fucking listen to this podcast. D this is not the podcast for you. That's like going to fucking um, the Great British Baking Show and being like, I don't fucking like when people bake. Don't listen to this podcast. <laughs> Listening to a podcast where people often argue and then complaining, that sounds wild to me. I mean, but also, I mean, I mean, again, I forget all that. I have said my piece. You seem to. What else are you looking or I didn't, I'm not, I've literally not asked you for anything. Okay, work. Let's talk about dental care. What's the first thing we went to the dentist? <laughs> the first time, how old do you remember how old you were when you went to the dentist? <laughs> do you remember, bitch, do you remember how old the fuck you were when you went to the dentist for the first time? How were you? Why don't you start? I was, th well, the first time I remember going was when I was three years old. You have vivid memories from being three and going to the dentist. I do. I remember, I remember going to the dentist because <laughs> I was, I had, a, I had, I had something wrong with this tooth, my right front tooth. There's nothing wrong with it because I was ice skating. It was my baby tooth. I was ice skating and I hit it uh, when, when I was, wait, wait, I wasn't three. I was four. And I hit it when I was four years old and it was just gray. And then they took it there and they were like, oh, and the doctor fell. I was like, what's the baby tooth? It'll fall out, fall out eventually. And it never fell out. And that's why when I was nine years old, I had to get surgical dental care and they cut into my gums and they pulled the baby tooth out mm -hmm. and I had a brace on here and to pull that one down. And I saw like for nine, 10, 11, 12, nine, 10, 11, I just had nothing here. When I it was very traumatizing. I don't have specific memories of the first time I went to the dentist. I mean, I have been going to the dentist for a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I I don't ever remember not going to the dentist. I have memories of going to the doctor when I was younger because I had um, my feet are very flat, and this, Girl. this this was a huge concern for them. They were Same. they were under the impression that I was going to end up. Um, I used to wear inserts, these wooden inserts in my shoes, but. I have had a lot of work on my teeth done in my life. I chipped my tooth when I was in the third grade and then I got it fixed. <clears throat> and then I, um, but the issue is, can I make a joke? I'm <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I was asking for Mitchell to make a joke, but I'm not going to do it. Go ahead. I'm kidding. Go ahead, man. Do you want me to talk about my tooth or not? Go ahead. Talk about it. 
I don't want to talk. I don't feel. I don't feel comfortable I'm talking to you oh about my, my tooth. God, I am kidding. You want know, a joke that you make, bitch? And I said, to him, "Go ahead." I was. I didn't even make the joke. I literally was asking you if I could make the joke, and I did it. So continue. But well, I'm just telling you that I don't feel safe talking to you about my tooth, and I think that is a legitimate and fair point to make. That feels very fair to me to, to say out loud. I do not feel safe talking to you about my tooth. Okay, so you so you can talk about talk about your we'll talk about your teeth. Talk about your little your little dead tooth <laughs> that you had to get cut out of your mouth. So you can talk about my dead tooth, like maybe you can't if you don't want me. I did, I did not tell you that you can't talk. I said I don't fuck up about you. I I would never tell you what you can and can't talk about. I am telling you I do not okay. feel comfortable with you talking okay, about Okay, how can we make you feel comfortable about talking about it? I don't want to talk about my tooth with you because you are so insensitive about it. I, Bob, I, it, was, it was a joke about me asking for permission. I wasn't going to make a joke. I was making a joke about But the amount of jokes that you make that are out of that are crazy, the amount of jokes made on New Year's Eve about something that we should not be joking about. What? That was Jacob. No, that was you. Oh. So go ahead. But then. if someone in the room was like, I feel uncomfortable, I'd I be said like, it. I said, guys, can we please not? This is not cool. I feel but then uncomfortable. You were making the jokes too. No, I made one joke at the beginning of the night. You started. <laughs> you started. I, no, no, no. no I, I, <laughs> yes, you did. I made one joke. And then after that, you literally went on a stream of like 14 <laughs> it jokes. It was very funny. But <laughs> it wasn't about your body or something. It, it still made me very uncomfortable because there was a third, a fourth party that doesn't know. And the you, the one who fucking told him. No, I didn't. No, yes, you did. No, no, no. Because I you swear, came, look because, at Jacob nodding his head. No, we can you, call him right now. He had, you came back from the kitchen and you told him because you, we can call him right now. I did not tell them about it. Everyone in this room is in agreement that it was no, you. No, I did not because I, I specifically did not tell him because I didn't. Okay, want, I, I will say I don't think this is a perfect time on the podcast because they don't know what we're talking about. Right, that, that feels okay. shady to the listeners. Okay. They but, don't know what we're talking. So about. let's move on. But could you tell me about the tooth? I, 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 I don't. I don't. You told me before about it. Jacob just stepped into frame when Jacob has an virus on Bob goes. Where you getting a virus show from? Jacob's like from the thrift store. Bob goes. When? Bitch, are you with him all 12, 4, 24 hours I a day? I asked. I said when. But it was a very when. You are sprinkling in a lot of stuff. For this interaction that had nothing to do with you. So, um, so tell, back to back to my tooth. Tell me more about your teeth. Yeah. Tell me more about your teeth. So I was missing this tooth for like nine, ten, eleven. Mm-hmm. And so then, that sounds very tough. Yeah. So then it came, then it came back, then it came in, and then I've been pretty crazy. You know, dental stuff like like oral stuff is genetic. My my dentist was telling me like cavities and stuff like that. That's like genetics. Yeah. You know, if, if you have bad teeth, mm -hmm. um, there there kind of isn't really a full amount of. It's not that you can't do br like brushing and flossing and stuff does help, but it if, does. If, yeah. If, but... if your if your genetics have like degenerative teeth it's gonna happen then it's kind of like um i was talking to um jiggly about it because jiggly was because you know jiggly had really bad oh yeah teeth, which i remember and then she got them all replaced great um and she was like she was like i was she was she goes yeah i ate candy and stuff but i was like but me too i used to eat bitch a lot i used to eat a lot I and go to, to bed and not brush your teeth and th that shit is stuck in your teeth all night long i used to, I used to brush my teeth I, I would eat candy and go to bed and not brush my teeth Especially in college, like working, like writing a paper into like. I'm sure some dentist is going to be in the comment. Oh, dentist yeah. here. Oh yeah, we're not saying that you should do this behavior. We're not saying this is this. We're talking. Uh, we're talking about our experience. I mean, Monet is telling me when I should fix my teeth, but she's not telling me when. <laughs> <we should. laughs> this is our experience with our teeth. Me, what I would do in college. I'm not saying you should do this. You should brush your teeth and follow your dentist. What your dentist is telling you this is what I used to do in my life. So I would like work on. <laughs> you guys, you are a bitch. Oh you are God. a fucking. You are a bitch. You are such oh. a bitch. The word you were saying that word. Can I tell you how you're making me feel? Like a bitch. <laughs> you're making me feel like bitch. a bitch. Cause you're a bitch. You are a bitch. Woo. Uh, but did you did you have like a tooth? Did your mom give you like the tooth fairy stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Oh I, can, I can hit you in your face right now. <laughs> did you I grow? Did yes, you? I grew up with a tooth fairy. I grew up with a tooth fairy, um, and we would put teeth under our pillows. Uh huh. How much did you get? <sighs> Maybe a dollar. A do yeah, it was a dollar too. Now it's you like know your ass got a, a trust fund, stocks <laughs> and bonds. Your ass got a house, keys. It you was a wake up. There'd be keys to a car. Under it your, was a under money your market account. I got access to <laughs> a Goldman Sachs letter. <laughs> <laughs> but um. 
Yeah, and but in in, in San Lucia we have we we will get coins because that that that's some you, we don't have there's no dollar America. I feel like America's the only country that has no Europe too. No, Europe has um a dollar. They, they don't have a, a, a pound coin. They do. They do. Did they, they do. do? I don't. Do they? Yeah, Europe has. They a have pound a one pound coin. coin. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Um, but in, in some you get like a dollar, a little silver dollar coin. Mm-hmm. Uh, we get for, well, it's uh, also about the unit because, uh, you know, euros and um, pounds. and pounds and Canadian dollars and Australian dollars, loonies and toonies are very close in amount. No, they're close, closer than a peso. Can it, like no. one peso versus one dollar or a yen versus a dollar? They're so. They're so different. But They're Canada, so far apart. like a, a Canadian dollar and a U and a euro, bitch. It's like one Canadian dollar is like four or five euros. Well, what I'm saying, I mean, what I'm saying, close. I'm I'm talking about like a euros is more. Is what I'm saying. Is more. So I guess I don't know. Five. It's like five. What is it? Uh, a Canadian dollar is 0.7 euro. Oh, really? So they're all they're all a, they're all like really close. They're like about the same. Word. Um. Whereas when you go to like pesos, pesos are like oh, yeah, they're wild. they're so tiny. Yeah. Same with um yen. Yen are really, really yen tiny. Really so that's why when you're in, in Mexico and you buy like a burger, they're like 250. I'm like, what? And they're like, but Which, that's like five dollars. But I think it's because they, I think it's because they don't have cents. Yeah, it's yeah. it's all it's all pesos. It's all pesos. Yeah, it is pesos. Yeah. I think I might be wrong. I can't remember, but it, yeah. Did you have braces as a kid? No, I've never had braces. Really? No. Work. I've never had braces. I just um, hated it. I have had a lot. I've had a lot done on my my mouth, but never braces. I mean, I've had. Um, it's a trend now. People, kids want braces. Like when I was growing up, I had to get braces. I was like, oh, I hated it. I was like, I hate. I was so subconscious about it. Bitch, kids now they want the metal braces. They don't want. They don't want. Uh, they don't want Invisalign. They want you to. It's like. It's like a. It's like a cute trend. Well, I thought that braces look kind of cool, but you I thought they looked cool when you were younger. Yeah, kind of a little bit maybe. What? But I didn't, not bad enough to to want them. Mm-hmm. Um, people used to take paper clips and put them in their teeth and pretend like they were braces. Oh, you'd unfold a paper clip and pretend like you had braces, kind of, or like a retainer of some sort. Got it. Um, but I've had a lot of my teeth. Maybe not a lot. I don't know what I don't know what what a lot is for some people, but I've had seven of my teeth replaced. Okay. Um, if you include, I've had one tooth replaced three times, and I'm about to get it replaced a fourth time. If, I guess Monet will schedule it for me at some point <laughs> when she sees it appropriate for me to get my teeth fixed. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and you know, going to the dentist is um, it's actually really. It doesn't even feel it doesn't even feel stressful for me at this point, this. especially if you love the dentist. I like going to my dentist. I like my dentist. I don't I, love going to the dentist. I like my dentist very much. He I feel very comfortable in his hands, but I'm not like, ooh, I can't wait to go to the dentist. I think I feel that way because I've never had to have like traumatic uh mouth stuff done. I've never had anything replaced or anything. So anytime I go it's just a, a cleaning and um and I'd be I'd be cool. And also my dentist is like a lesbian, she's really dope. We talk about like her kids and well, she just had a kid and her dog, and she and she would like come to drag shows and stuff like that. So I don't know. I used to like my dentist is gay too, and he he comes to drag shows and stuff as well. Doctor Kristen Harrison in New York Doctor Wilgis, Joshua. Can Wilgis. I can I finish from one of my dentists? Go ahead, say his name. Doctor Chris- Doctor Joshua Wilgis. Go ahead. Anyway, Wilgis. go ahead. No, sir, no, bro, give her give her a shout out. See if the cameras are on. This is not how this interaction would work. <laughs> you are a monster today. You are an you are an absolute monster. <laughs> And I cannot uh, believe that I have to work that I have to work in these conditions. One of my biggest fears about ice skating, and I every time I go ice skating, I think about this: is skating, falling, and just and just falling forward, busting your teeth on the thing, and just blood and teeth everywhere. I have that irrational fear. That's why I don't. Why like ice skating more than regular skating? I don't know because ice skating, I just I just see the teeth hitting the ice and just like the blood staining the ice, and they can't get it. They have to like shut on the whole ring, get the zamboni. I, 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 that's what I'm, I have in my mind. I hate. I can't go ice skating. I feel like it's gonna happen to me. Also, for whatever reason, you fall, and um, Ashley didn't see you fall, and she just skates over your fingers and just chops them off clean. I know that literally cannot happen, but in my mind, it can. I wouldn't, ah! say, I wouldn't say it literally can't happen, but blades. Ice blades are pretty thick. Then okay, not this thick. They're like this thick. The, the, an ice skate cannot chop your fingers off like that. Not unless they like. Jump on your thing, maybe. Well, I think it depends on a lot of. That's probably. I I I I I went ice skating recently. Um, for what? When? Who? I was in Atlanta with my family for Thanksgiving. Oh, work. And we, um, me and my brother and my niece and nephew Jacob and Ezra, 
went ice skating. Or did you, did you, can you ice skate? No. Oh. I mean, I can, I can stay afloat. I mean, I, afloat. I mean, upright. <laughs> My mic is flaccid. Oh, this is a video of you ice skating. Uh, we gonna, we're gonna, you are such a monster today. I cannot believe that. <laughs> oh my God. Did any of you have like a coworker oh and you're like, this is wild. <laughs> Does anyone at home have a coworker and you're like, this is, I can't believe these are the conditions they have to work in. <laughs> you look cute in this coat. That is a women's coat from Walmart that was, I think, 40 bucks because I got to, <laughs> I got to, um, Bob is not skating. You're walking. I can't skate. You're walking. On the ice. I can't ice skate. I, I will, we'll, is walking we, will, we will post the video. We've gotten better at it. We've gotten better. We'll post the video. This would be a Patreon exclusive. Um, but you, you know, I, I've had a rational for I used to work at this restaurant called the Jekyll and Hyde Club, and it was like um, a five story restaurant. We get. And we you know, know you had to go. Yes, yes, we know about what, Jekyll and Hyde. What am I going to say then? That you had to bus. Uh, the kitchen was here. You had to work all the floors. You were you were the food runner at that point. Where were you? So you don't know. Good. Got it. Because I wasn't the food runner. All right. Anyway, you were the what? Do you do you want to guess or do you want to tell you? I, I, th- I thought you just said I didn't hear you. I was a waiter. You're the waiter. Yeah. Right. And you did not have to go up and down stairs. You would take your food to the dumb waiter. And the, that's what it was a dumb waiter. Yeah. The dumb the, waiter and then the dumb waiter would you would <laughs> you are <laughs> impossible. <laughs> impossible today. And sometimes when you leave here, I'll say, Jacob, was it Monet <laughs> crazy today? And Jacob goes, well, she's always crazy. <laughs> oh. Uh, so these are these, these conversations y'all have around around the little office cooler. <laughs> He's like, well, that's how Monet always... And, and I have to say, you're right. That is how Monet always is. That's why. Because I have the same conversation about you with other people. <laughs> I mean, sh- but according to you, wait, but but am I... But then you have to ask yourself, is it how I always am? Is I don't it, know. That's, that's, it, that's the question I ask myself all the time. Is it only how I'm on camera? Is this nigga putting on for the cameras? That's that literally be my question. When people watch the episode, they be like, is Bob crazy? I'm like, girl, he is nuts. He's out of his mind. So I think to, to you and your boyfriend, y'all, you're regular. Nigga, you crazy too. Just so we're clear. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, Nigga, you crazy as hell. Absolutely not. Bob, so you think that. I'm dubs. So you think that I'm just. Bro, people should know that. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm that. I'm Doug. I, you, oh, oh, shit. Bob. Bob. I told you I'm Doug. This Wait, nigga pulling shit. Pulling up and dropping shit. Well, you the one who told us to put it on the thing. Because look untidy on the table. Doesn't this look cleaner, y'all? The wires on on the table looking crazy. You are insane. So today. you think in this world that I'm just <laughs> crazy, crazy? You just sitting there like, yes, nigga. You are out of your fucking mind. I if you think, think that's I the reality? I am. I feel like if this was a cartoon, if this was a show. I would be the one if if this was the monsters, I'm the daughter. You ever seen the monsters? I don't know. The one with the eyeball thing? I don't remember any That's of That's RL Monsters. The Monsters was it was a, a sitcom. The Monsters, you mean? The Monsters, yeah. The Monsters, like the old black and white show? Yeah. The Monsters. I'm the daughter. I've never seen a show. I've seen like the thing about it. Well, that every like the whole bit is that like everyone around her is so wild. There's like a werewolf, there's a vampire, there's like a uh uh her father's like a Frankenstein monster. Her mother is like Elvira, like everyone's, and then there's just this one daughter, and everyone's like, girl, you're weird. And she's like, this is wild because y'all, but she, but she is now convinced that she's weird and that they're normal. I'm the daughter. The fact that you genuinely believe this is so. That is the crazy thing to me. The fact that you think that you were just this normal, everyday, young white what's woman. So cool? what, what's so weird about me? Bob, you are a crazy fucking person. You How? walk into a room. First of all, you dress like a you dress like a, a, a baggy sack. You have a big sack on, a big brim witch hat on. <laughs> oh my god. This is a, 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 a takedown? Literally. An attack? Literally, your 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 dress alone is out of this world. I think in my group of friends, the way I dress is pretty standard. Within the context of the people I hang out with, it's not wild for me to show up in a big flowy garment and a hat that is the size of of, of the whole room. Yeah, I don't. And think... pointy and pointy wood shoes. <laughs> That's normal. Yeah, in 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 my group of friends, yes. 
<laughs> Girl, that, that's you, so normal. You are insane. I love you so much. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are so kooky. Mole gaslight exchange. <laughs> I know, bitch. Bob the gaslight queen. Okay, we, should we do a poll? Who, <laughs> who, which one of us is gaslighting? They're gonna say both of y'all. Oh, we both gaslight. This is this. this I, honestly, we should really do a sibling gaslightery uh, series. I mean, that's every episode. So Wait, this is, there's even a podcast. I've been like, we've been making this show up the whole time. <laughs> there's never. We have never released a single episode. Could you? Okay, I watched the new Matrix. And I know... Is it good? It's fine. First of all, I didn't... And even... Jacob keeps being like, we should watch it, but no one has given it a glowing review. It's fine. And I'm like, I, you need to watch Don't Look Up. Everyone is saying that. I need to watch it. And Jacob didn't like it. I didn't, I've i heard about it. I haven't seen it yet. But Pull I it. know that we're not. Pull it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've been working out, girl. I can still be trying wrestling, though. No, you can't. Okay, hold on. We'll do that at the end. Um, And I know that we're not in the Matrix, but... <laughs> Do you ever think that no, we, that we're a simulate that we're a simulation? Never have I ever thought. Not, that. not even a little bit. Ne- literally, never, not once have I ever thought that. You know what I do think sometimes? What? So I'm thinking to myself, none of this matters. That I think a lot. Meaning, like what? Well, like I mean, this whole earth is gonna like. You can't really leave a legacy. You can leave a legacy for people to come after you, but honestly, this whole planet is one day just gonna. The whole thing's not gonna exist. Oh yeah, and but like, human, but but we will still exist. Probably will be in ships in space like Wally. I don't think so. You don't think that we'll I ever think, get? Will ever be I that think, smart? I think Earth, mankind on Earth is doomed. We we can't, not in our lifetime, and no one will. No one listen to this when it's recorded's lifetime. But I do think that there will come a point where Earth will. I mean, by the way, that's just science. That's not me. Yeah, it will. Planets explode, and none of this will matter. But I think that I think it matters for now, but in the long run, none of it. I matter. think science and technology will advance enough that the human species will probably exist on in another way, like in like a big ass fucking space, whatever. Or that sounds horrible. To another planet. I, it and I think great. to myself, like I, I, I can't go too far down that rabbit hole because I do kind of fear that deep down, I could be a bad person because. None of this matters. Like you, because because the more you think about it, it'll make you become a bad person. Like you just be doing bad shit because you're like none of it matters. None like, of it matters. Like bad, like what? Like murder? I don't know. I don't. I don't go down the 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 the, the deep dark hole. But I feel like being nice. If you go down that rabbit hole, doesn't make sense, and it doesn't. You know what it is? There have been times in my life, especially working in bars. When like a drunk person, like a really drunk person, will come up to me and they're wasted, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm not gonna waste kindness on you. I'm just not gonna like. I'm not gonna be like, pardon me. I'm not gonna. Say, I'm just gonna just like if you if, if a drunk person like I I I'll just walk away, and I don't care if it hurts their feelings because they just will not remember it. And I'm like, I'm not going to engage with you. I'm not going to let you down easy. I'm just going to be like, let me down. Let, let me, me down. down. <laughs> That's water under the bridge. You just it's hard, easy. Oh. Um, if you're going to know, let me down gently. Yeah. Um, so I, but I'm not like, I, I would never like, like be like hurt the, but I think if the person was coherent, I would probably find a way to like, disengage with them in a polite way Mm -hmm. but if they're wasted i will not waste my time trying to make my disengagement nice i'll just be like i would literally just just i would just turn around and walk away okay that that way you went through so many things first you were like if i went out a deep dark hole i'll i wouldn't care i'll I'll murder people you're like you said murder and i said i don't know about that this is what i mean by gaslighting (laughs) this is what i mean monet asked about murder i said i don't i don't know i did not mean you said you'd murder i did not mean i you obviously we know i'm just saying bob this is how we again again going back to my point how do you get how do you light a gas this is how we can get in the podcast bob i will say something i will say i will say that i like apples you're like oh you like everything you like apples you like cars you like growing trees this is i never said those things but that's how we engage on the podcast anyway and now you're like if i saw someone drunk i wouldn't talk to them it just <laughs> you just got but really also, it got less severe when like here's an example i don't talk to babies mm-hmm. i don't i don't i don't goo goo gaga babies there was a thing when my niece was born mm-hmm. and my brother was like you don't call and talk to my daughter and i was like she's two I'm not calling to talk to a two-year-old. 
I'm not going to have a phone conversation with a two-year-old. I don't want to. Who is that for? Maybe it's like for development or something. I don't know, but I just don't want to talk to a two-year-old. That's not like my own child. Or, or I, I will talk to her and like, I don't want to also in the bay, if you're listening. I, I like, if you're there in person, I will like talk to this baby. But you talk to them like they're an adult. You're like, hi, hi, Nevea. That is a very nice shirt you're wearing today. Yeah, I, I talk to I talk to children like adults. I do. But, but they say that's that you're supposed to do that. But I don't goo goo gaga babies, and I will not call a baby on the phone. You've seen people do this. Oh yeah, for sure. That's that's weird to me. Why the fuck are you talking to a baby? The baby doesn't understand you. If you're talking to a baby in person, that is like helping them developing their brain. Right. But I'm not going to call on the phone and talk to a child. But in theory, theoretically, mm-hmm. babies, uh, you're the you're you you have your most like for example, when you're born, you have all the brain cells you're gonna have, and then you lose them over the. That's not time. true. That's what that is true. That is not true. Jay, can you look it up? Brain cells regenerate. Do they? Yes, they do. Well, let's confirm that. I, I mean, we and the movie Baby Geniuses, they don't. Well, that's not a science fiction doc. That's not that's not a documentary. It, it, it is. Yeah. Say it again. They do. I I know they do. Brain cells. That is that is that that is a a a a, uh, a like one of those fake things that's been spread around. And folks are like you, you, you brain cells can't regenerate. Not true. Oh, I didn't say they regenerate. I just said that you. Well, yeah, I guess essentially that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but go ahead with your, with your fake news. <laughs> I mean, I mean, listen. I said it before. You should not take antibiotics. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> um, but anyway, I think that if I had a baby or if I was with a baby, I would engage with the baby. Have you changed your mind on that since the since the couple? What having a child? Yeah, a little bit. I'm, I, I've softened on it. I, there was a point where I was like, I don't want to have a kid. Yeah. I do still think that creating a child from scratch is a little bit selfish. Mm-hmm. Um, I also don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with being selfish. A little bit. Work. Do you think it's wrong? Do you think being selfish is wrong? I mean, there's nuance to it. I mean, obviously, there's selfless acts you can do. There's, but if if, if there are good selfless, if, if you can be selfless, I think the opposite you you should be able to be selfish, selfish in certain in certain situations. So I guess yeah. Yeah, I think despite what was said at the beginning of this podcast, I strongly believe in prioritizing your own um you know you prioritizing yourself i always i mean I, I, one time me and i think me and ezra were having a conversation i was like i will i you will i will always consider you but i will always prioritize myself like you will always be considered but you will never take precedent over me so Does that, you want to have a conversation with Jacob now too? I think Jacob and I understand that about each other. I think Jacob and I are very good at looking out for ourselves, and we we probably have had some iteration of that conversation at some point over the course of our um, tenure as partners. Work. Does that sound accurate to you? Um, yeah. After we got mugged, and he left me behind. <laughs> that that absolutely did not happen. That has literally. <laughs> Oh, so do you want to accuse Jacob of, of, of gaslighting, or or, yes. or do you or do you only, only want to do it to, to the black people that work in civil well, rivalries? Is that. it only to the black people that you want to accuse of gaslighting, but the white people can pass? Work, got that, it. Like mm-hmm. I just said, that is what Jacob just said is categorically false. Jacob and I had one run in with the cops one time. We were in. Um, Did Berkeley. he call them on you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. We were we were um, headed back from. Um, a gig or or at a, we were into a club together but we, we we were both dressed up mm-hmm. you know how nightlife dressed up mm-hmm. like wearing costumes and stuff and i had to pee so i don't know why we were walking because we we took a car but for some reason we i think i had to pee so bad i was like you have to stop now and we were like maybe like five minutes from the house and i was like i, I literally cannot make it you literally have to pull the car over now so he pulled over and I and I am dressed in like like uh just all black. It looks it looks very creepy. It was it was the straight character, <laughs> the straight witch. Just... No no but no. This this was the costume. Okay. It, it, we were like we were like club kidding it. This Got was not it. this was not how I normally do it. We were like we were like club kids. It's like okay. we, were, we were we were wearing makeup and stuff. I am running and I mean running down the streets of Berkeley in all black. All black. It's long, flowy. I think I have a mask on. I'm wearing gloves. I mean. It was this, oh, there's a cape. 
It's all black head. To, I think I'm wearing a mask too, right? This sounds I, like this sounds like an overclock. Do you know <laughs> Sounds like you're normal every day. Shut the, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Shut up. And I was wearing pointy toe shoes. I actually was wearing pointy toe shoes. And I am running because 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 I was trying to find up. So I find a parking lot, and then I find. But Jacob is not running because Jacob. He's like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Jacob run. I've seen Jacob run. Have I seen you run? We raced each other and we tied. There's a video of it. My leg must have been hurting that day. <laughs> um, so I'm running to um, go to pee, and I find a, a corner of a of a parking lot. And I piss in the corner, and this cop is Rich. like, "This cop's like, what are you what are you doing?" And I was like, I'm "Walking home." Like as you're peeing, I finish peeing, and he pulls up to me and Jacob, and he's like, "What are you two doing?" And I was like, "We're walking home," and he's like, "Where do you live?" And I was like, "I'm not telling you that." And he was like, why are you running? I was like, because sometimes I run. He was like, why are you dressed like that? And I was like, just because we're wearing costumes. Can I help you with anything else? And he's like, just, it's just kind of weird. You're like, dress funny and you're running. I was like, yeah, I'm dressed funny and I'm running. You got me. And then what happened? He left us alone. That's, I mean, that's roughly what happened, right? Yeah. But yeah. niggas die for shit like that. I know, but that's why I wasn't. I wasn't gonna tell him where I live. I know. I was like, I'm dressed. That's the thing. When cops, I was like, we, you're right. I'm, I'm in a costume and I'm running. And when cops do that shit, they try to intimidate you. Like, bitch, I don't have to tell you where I live. Yeah, I'm re- wearing a costume and running. <laughs> bitch, I am an American citizen. I can do that. Bitch, I can wear do this every night if I want to. Yeah. But I was. I, I also was not gonna. I wasn't gonna justify. I wasn't like, I'm a club kid and I'm a drag queen yeah, and I dress up. And we, were, we were at a party and, and tell me your whole life story. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm dressed funny and I'm running. We're all on the same page. I wasn't running from anything. I was just running, and you're wearing your your, your uniform. You in the car? <laughs> I was like, and I was like, is it is it okay to run? He goes, it's okay to run. And I was like, all right, well then, we're good. Right. My nigga, <laughs> was he black? I don't think he was black. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't have a di- direct recollection of what he looks like. Right. So now I really wish I could remember what people look like in the moment when I first moved into my apartment over over at um me and Ezra's place. This guy who like was on the HOA board was like. What unit do you live in? And I always want to remember what he looks like, but I can't remember because I want to mean mug him in the elevator. I want to make him, I want to inspire him to feel uncomfortable the next time I see him. But I can't remember. But then I don't want to look at every single white guy with a dog because I'm like, I don't want to make all these motherfuckers. Why not? I was like, but I do want that guy who I I felt uncomfortable talking to him Mm -hmm. and I would like to return the favor every, for the entirety of our lease in that place. I don't want him to ever have a moment of release around me that's what that's my wish <laughs> that's my resolution but i can't remember what his dog was it was very dark and not where do you live nigga where the fuck do you live and the woman with me told him where i live did she i told you that there's a stripper who, oh yeah yeah yeah. she was like he's in this unit and i was like i just met you michelle shut your ass <laughs> up isis shout out to isis if you're listening it should be the one isis moved she probably died. Isis now lives in a van. Does she? Yeah, she this does. A lot of people want to do it to you like this. Tiny homes and shit like that. I'm like, that me sounds... And, me and Monet's partner are going to live in a tiny home together. Yeah. Andy wants a tiny home. We'll go, bon voyage. Andy and I could probably... He's really funny. I think he and I would actually do really well on like a cross-country trip. If we just did like a month. If Andy and I took a month off. Andy already drives a fucking a school bus. <laughs> he does. He drives a red van, girl. <laughs> He drives a fucking school bus. I went to Monet's place. He does not drive a school bus. You are so silly. And he drives a bus. He <laughs> is not a it's, bus. It is literally it's a, a bus. It's a van. It is a, it's like a 25 passenger van. That's it's a bus. A, it was a 15 passenger van. Okay. And he drives a, a it's, well, he was, uh, it was his work car. He had. And he drives a commercial grade vehicle. <laughs> is that fair to say? You don't need a CDL to drive that car. So it's not a commercial vehicle. I don't know. I was <laughs> gagged. I, w- I was gagged when it pulled up. <laughs> it was his work van. He had it. And I was like, what is it? Anyway, he, I think it'd be really, I, you know, I really wanted to, um, dr- like, I wanted to, I have this, this idea oh <clears throat> back when I was on Drag Race to drive from L, from New York to LA. I remember. And document it. And then, like, get there. If I would have fucking, I, mean, I did, I won Drag Race. I didn't know I was going to win at the time. I thought I was going to yeah, win. We didn't I, was, know you were I was pretty convinced I was going to win, but I was like, what a great end to that documentary. That'd be great. Oh, should have done it. I mean, you basically do that now when we're here. You're just flying. True. But I got these other bitches with me. No, I, wow. I, I, I'm uh, kidding. I like them a lot. Wow. Tag Shangela Eureka in this video and timestamp this. Wow. Tag them and timestamp this. 
<laughs> Whoa. I, I really enjoy my co-stars. Say, say, say it one more time with more feeling. <laughs> Wait, do this. No, turn the other way. What is that? Okay, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to see if you can do this. Ready? Hold on. I need one second. Hold on. Uh-uh. Wait, hold on. Bitch, don't put your COVID in your hands and give it to me. Can you do this? What? Look. You ready? Can you do this? I did some stupid shit. And then can I, you do it or and not? I, I, I got done. You're like, Una, you have cooties. Some dumb shit like that. Can you do it or not? Uh, what is it? This? What is look, it? Look, look. Can you do this? No, you have to start like you have to start like this. Uh huh. No, you have to take your start like this. Uh huh. And then, oh wow, you did it. <laughs> Jacob said, "Cut." All right, um, listen, is this one about conflict resolution part two? No, 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 no. This is this is the one about um, hearing out your friends <laughs> and respecting their boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we don't have no fucking boundary. What is my friend? I don't have no boundaries on motherfucking friends, bitch. That that is not. I, I want to be clear. That is that is not true. We do. That is not where we stand. <laughs> where what, what are our boundaries? Um, there are a lot of things that you ask me not to do that I don't do. Like what? Can you name one? Um, there is one video that you don't want me showing people. What video? The people hating on the cover? Nope. The one. The one video. Which one? Do you want me to say what it is? No. Well, um, <clears throat> type it. It's the vid- it's there it's a, it's a performance you did. Oh yeah. And I've never I have never shown anyone that performance. You brought it up at your house one time. No. Absolutely. No, that that did. was when you told me that was the time you told no, me not to bring it up. No, you from since 945 Amsterdam. You, when you were at the big when you had the big projector at uh Fort Washington, you absolutely brought it up. I was like, "Bob, no, you absolutely did." Wait, really? You didn't play it. We were like, "Okay, okay, I want to do it." You absolutely did that. Was it just me and you? No. Who was there? I think probably Patty Mateo. It was like the friend circle. <laughs> so thank you for respecting my boundaries. I didn't play it. You st- people can YouTube. They now you watch YouTube and find that. N- none of them. Ha- I haven't even shown Jacob the video. Well, listen, listen. I can't speak to. I don't know what you and Jacob do in your private time. Well, you can. You know that I'm a trustworthy person. <laughs> you are. So wild today. Do you want to have the the privilege of saying about our, our our listeners and viewers? No, I mean, it is a privilege and an honor. I love you guys, and um, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time at Sibling Rivalry.